Multi-Species Forge are definitely the story of 2021 and at DLF we had a massive response to our multi-species focus week that we held earlier on in the year. So what is a multi-species sword? It's a mixture of three or more species whose growth habits complement each other to produce a greater yield over the year than if each of the species were grown on their own. Generally we have three families of plant in the mixture. We've got grasses, we've got legumes and we've got herbs and each of those groups are contributing a different function to the mixture. So we have our grasses that produce a lot of forage early on in the year, they have good ground cover and they kind of keep a steady supply of quantity and yield throughout the year. Then we have our legumes which of course we know fix a lot of nitrogen naturally, so these are kind of the drivers of the whole system. They are feeding all the rest of the plants in the sward, uh, producing up to 150 to 200 kilos of nitrogen per hectare per year. And then we have the relatively newer species, the plantains, the chicories, the herbs. These species would have really strong summer growth. They're also excellent foragers in their own right, so the likes of the chicories and plantains would have a really high mineral profile. They've also got really high protein content, they're extremely digestible, and we're seeing that animals are really favouring them when they're given the choice of the full mixture out on farm. There's also an added element of, of drought tolerance with a multi-species sword. So the likes of clover and chicory especially have a pretty deep taproot that will really help you through the dry times in the summer. So when we put all these species into a mixture together and grow them as a crop, we can see a lot of production benefits on farm. Research has shown that these multi-species swords can produce the same amount of forage over the year as a perennial ryegrass sward receiving 200 kilos of nitrogen. And more so, this forage is supplied more evenly throughout the year. So we have a nice balance between spring production from our grasses and then we get the summer production from our legumes and herbs. So we have a more even distribution of, of yield over the year. We also see increased sward quality, especially again in the summertime when maybe grasses are starting to slow down their growth, they're hitting that reproductive stage. So we have a really good quality sward when we grow things like clovers and chicory and plantain in a mixture with the grasses over the summer. And as well as the forage production benefits, we're seeing a lot of animal performance benefits. So this is all related back to the high palatability, the high protein and the high digestibility of multi-species swords. So from our experience, the three main queries that we get from farmers regarding multi-species swords is what are they going to do about weeds? Can we make silage from it? And is there a potential spring growth deficit? So with weeds, what we're seeing is that once we get a good spray off initially of the old sward and we get good establishment of the new mixture that we sow, we're seeing that the natural competition from within the diverse mixture is, is keeping out the, the weeds that we normally see with grass reseeds. For the big problems like docks or thistles, we're seeing good resistance from the multi-species swards and this has been shown in research trials as well that things like chicory and plantain are actually taking the place of the docks and the thistles in the sward and they're doing the docks job so the dock has nowhere to go basically when it comes into the field. We do see annual weeds like with any reseed like things like chickweed and things like that but these are short-lived, they usually seem to die out of the sward after one or two grazings if we catch them early enough. The cows seem to be able to handle the short-term weeds. Weeds for us, we sow it fairly thick. We don't get huge problems, you get odd docks and stuff but once you have more competition in the field it seems to be a way in the weed burden. Stuff. There's no getting away, you will still get them, like, but just they're not near as prevalent. We made silage out of it last year. This paddock and another multi species down the back were cut for silage slash haylage. The cows absolutely loved it when we opened it, was lovely stuff, it was grand and dry. Obviously, silage is an important part of our grassland systems to provide enough feed over the winter, and for multi species to have a role, we need to make silage from them at some stage. The principle with silage is that the multi species is a much lower dry matter crop, so we need to allow for that. And what we're seeing on farm with the farmers who have made silage and have reported back to us is that. Once you're cutting the crop dry and you're allowing it to wilt sufficiently, that there shouldn't be any issues of preservation. So there was a study done in Chagas Grange a couple of years ago where based on silage from multi-species and they found similar, that once the crop was cut in good conditions and it was dried, that there shouldn't be any issue with preserving a multi-species forward for silage. When we were cutting it, there was good weather given. We mowed it, we didn't turn it. We just left it in the rows and it just dried out itself. We mowed it on the second evening then we wind rode it, which the big 20 foot rake comes in and rakes it in and then it was left till the following day again. So the stuff that was on the ground got turned up with the rake and just come in and bail it and that was pretty much it. At DLF we'd recommend multi-species primarily as a grazing mixture, but it's good to know that under the right conditions we can preserve multi-species swords as silage. Lastly, spring growth is sometimes a concern with farmers and they're worried that with the high amount of clovers and herbs in the multi-species mixtures that they might not be able to produce enough forage in early spring in March and April and maybe even in February. So to address this we have set up some trials at our, at our trial ground where we're looking at using different types of perennial ryegrass, with some with really strong spring growth and some with less strong spring growth to see if by using the strong spring growth varieties we can improve the spring performance of the multi-species swords. So on the back of this, in DLF Six Species Herbal Lay, it now has Nishota and Nifty to really improve the spring growth of the multi-species mixture. Well, us with the multi-species and the grass paddocks, there's no differentiating between them. Whatever has the cover, the cows go into. Like there's paddocks we got 10 grazings off last year, rough average cover of 1300. There's good grazing, we were out to 17th of January in that paddock last year and we got 10 grazings off it. We don't really see this deficit in the spring as such. Like there's plenty of grass through the small, like. 
Um, so it's, the grass is still going to be growing. You will have the chicory and plantain are not as prevalent as they are later on in the year, but they're, they're still there, they're still growing over the winter like.